During the, uh, during the last couple of days, uh, you went back to your old door stopping days. Oh, I did. Uh, got Chrissy Fagan here, the Brisbane coach. Just, oh, but you've got a coach. Are you going into hospital? Oh, no, mate. Just oh, it's been a pretty difficult few days. Just leave me alone, but mate. Public interest, mate. We need to know what you're saying. Piss off, Ed. Chris, the public's got a right to know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, mind you, Ed. This went better than the first time you door stopped, door stopped someone. Yeah, yes. uh, old plugger, this is uh, circa <laughs> last century. There he is. Oh. Uh, He's an old man, isn't he? Yeah, that's plugger senior there, yeah. Howard. Good to see yeah. him there. But <laughs> he wanted to kill you that night, that day, didn't he? Well, he did, but the problem with it, the, the funny story about that was St Kilda gave us permission and told us where to go, mm. but no one had told plugger, and it was before mobile phones, so he turned up with his mate Sharpie. Plugger, and, plugger uh, told you where to go? He did, indeed. In fact... <laughs> Not Plugger much has changed since the cadet days, Ed. Thank you, mate. But Plugger said to me, he said he regretted it, which yeah. was very good of him. And then he said he regretted he didn't throw it harder at me. <laughs> but anyway. uh, but uh, Chris Fagan was yeah. sensational today. Uh, that was actually his idea, to relive the old days. Oh, Let's yeah. catch up, though, with Chris Fagan, who did his hamstring in the Ice Challenge on Monday. Chris, there's a growing team of uh, coaches who didn't play AFL football but had distinguished footballing careers, though. You can now honestly say now you've been injured for the cause on the MCG. Yeah, I've been looking forward to that moment all my life, Ed. It was fairly unexpected to do it at the Big Freeze, but a uh, source of great humour to many of my friends and the boys that I coach and uh, a lot of people I know in the footy world. And, uh, How much stick have you copped? Oh, a lot. I've had a lot of texts and, uh, you know, various people calling. Um, but, you know, the good part about it is that it's given the, the big freeze a little bit more publicity over the last couple of days, so uh, anything to help Neil, I'm, I'm happy to do. Yeah, I think I'll go down on the bench and have somebody up in the coach's box. Uh, trust all the guys that are on, on our group to do a really good job with that. And it, You never know, sometimes these things come along. It might be a great opportunity just to get to know our players a little bit better on game day, and uh, there might be some advantages in it with a young group. Well done, Chris. Now, Sam, uh, there's two bad ways of doing your hamstring, tearing it off the bone. There's one where the bone actually comes off, which they can reattach, which is the lesser of the two evils. Pro Chris Fagan's done the worst, where he's pulled the tendons off, so they're going to have to reattach the tendons. And not only that, in a week, believe it or not, where his daughter is having his first grandchild, a little oh. girl coming over the next week. So his wife was coming down to Melbourne oh. and now she has to fly back between Brisbane and Melbourne to look after the daughter and look after Fag. So to uh, Chris and his team and uh, Ursula, his wife, uh, good luck. Yeah. We hope you have a fast recovery, mate. You've been fantastic. And big round of applause for Chris Fagan. Great fellow. Well, as you, um, as you said, Eddie, he's going to coach from the bench. He said it then, so we've thought of a, up a couple of things he might be able to help him out the stair lift there he could get on this just come down on this it just takes a while he mightn't get down to about three quarter time and then of course <laughs> how he could go out at three quarter time he could uh, surf yeah, the uh, crowd surf crowd surf exactly the only problem is at brisbane no crowd <laughs> <laughs> so it's not going to work there so he is going to do that he's going to be down on the bench and uh, he won't go up into the uh, coach's box it's going to take too long and the other thing that just makes it a little bit uh, hard is the fact that in two weeks time he's got the longest road trip in football when he goes from brisbane to the west coast eagles to play in perth so that's now, a long long flight now, now so good luck to chris